sometimes when you are in a shoreline and in the seashore, you can see different species of plant and animals. And very often, even in urban settings, we need special guides and the books to help us identify species that we are seeing. And I would definitely recommend to you to look for specifically this one that is uh, about seashores, in this case of Atlantic seashore, uh, Peterson Field Guide, the famous ones. And uh, I will a little bit tell you the story of this site uh, in Seven Hill Cove that was actually anthropogenically made because once upon a time, right now where I'm standing, it used to be an ocean, a coastal area with a lot of salt marsh, probably. And uh, this area where I'm standing right now is a filled in site. And uh, it's been recognized as one of the most polluted sites in Boston Harbor. Left of me is a little bit of a reminiscence of uh, trying to survive fringing salt marsh and there is a little gap between two sides of the fringing salt marshes and you've been learning about salt marshes they can be meadow type very vast big salt marshes or they can be like embracing little coastal areas like this we are calling them fringing salt marshes those are species of spartina that are actually right now flowering and uh, in this site where i'm standing we can see a lot of shells of uh, soft shell clam and uh, most of it if we zoom in on this vast mud flat here there are a lot of mud snails so this area although still uh, polluted um, and contaminated with a lot of uh, sediment that came from different sites of Boston Harbor it actually still has life, a lot of life. And uh, summertime, like now, we will have a lot of algae starting to grow because this area has a lot of nutrients and organic matter. And then when you don't have vast uh, habitat of different species and biodiversity, like shellfish, because uh, soft shell clams used to be abundant here and they are less and less because when you think about it, who wants to live in a very stinky and polluted mud and sediment. So what we are trying to create here and establish here is first ever biomimicry living lab to try to help nature to restore itself, to try to figure out what type of contamination do we have here in this sediment? What does this fringing salt marsh and uh, shellfish, what do they need uh, to thrive better?